Hey y'all, today we are going to be cooking molochia. It is a Egyptian delicacy, an absolute fan favorite dish. It's kind of like a soup. It's made with jute leaves and traditionally rabbit stock, but I'm gonna use chicken stock today. And the best part is I'm gonna have my Egyptian roommate actually eating it once it's done cooked. So I'm gonna get the thumbs up or the thumbs down to if this is actually cooked well. So keep watching and find out if I can prove my Egyptian roommate that I'm actually a decent cook by cooking an amazing Egyptian meal. Okay, now I'm gonna be honest here. I know I'm making this dish looking pretty good just it seems to have a good consistency but i've never actually had the dish in egypt yet so i have no idea what this is supposed to taste like so we're gonna find out but he has had the dish before so he's gonna let me know in essence this dish is super easy to make ingredient wise it only has a select few ingredients. The first one being the main ingredient, which is minced molochia. Now that's, they're made from jute leaves. It's kind of like a green leafy kind of thing. It's almost like mint, it doesn't taste like mint, but that's what it looks like. I know I cheated, I got frozen, but a lot of recipes online said that frozen's fine, and I don't know where the hell I would get these leaves fresh, so we're going frozen. Next ingredient, garlic. Lots and lots of garlic. Salt to taste, apparently that's a very big thing. Chicken broth is what I'm using, and a lot of recipes do call for that, but the actual one specifically calls for rabbit broth. I don't know where the hell I would get that. I'm sure I could probably easily get it in Egypt, but for now I am going to stick with chicken broth. And then coriander. Super important. In Egyptian, it's na'ama. Now traditionally it's served with rice and fried chicken. So I have my rice right here. Instead of fried chicken, I'm gonna make it with a vegetable medley. So this meal traditionally calls for a lot of garlic. Now, a few recipes online said two to three, you know, some other ones said five to six. So I'm gonna shoot for the middle and go with four. Let's hope it works out. Now we have some big boy garlics here. Let's get to chopping. step is to start melting the butter and now we're gonna need that fire 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 Ooh, all the fire add in all that garlic That's starting to smell good. It low key kind of smells like weed butter. Gotta add the chicken broth now. Give it a stir. You have to add more bouillon too. Time for the rice. Oops. Drop the package in the rice. I know I'm cheating. I'm using packaged rice, pre-spiced. All right, now it's time to add the... Oh my God, it's a bag within a bag. I wasn't ready for that. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. Why 
is it a bag within a bag? That's so unnecessary. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ew, it's so slimy. That's not what I want or need in my life. Gross. Definitely looks interesting. I'm very, very excited to try it. Okay. I don't know how you whisk this in, because it's frozen fucking solid, but I guess now I wait. Habibi, are you ready for food? Habibi showed up. Oh god, we got a critic coming. It's getting thick. I'm so scared to taste this. What if it's not good? Okay, I think this is done. And the rice, the rice is definitely done. So now you always have to test your food before you, you know, serve it to your guests. Mm. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. We'll see how it goes. Did I make it good? We're gonna find out. Yeah. Ah, that's a good look. Yeah. You can be honest, be honest. If you, you, you tell me it's absolutely awful, I won't be upset. Obviously, we, we know here uh, the first time doing uh, making molokhe is definitely a failure. So, this is not a failure by any means, yeah. Uh, it's actually good. It's actually good! Get the approval! Nice! Hi, yeah. how are Yeah. Well done, man. Allah. Ah, I love it. Talented, so talented, mother of mine. Alhamdulillah. I, I, I cheated. I, I, I got it already. I love cooking and I love, like having like a repertoire of good meals. And this is delicious. I need to figure out where the hell I can get this when I'm not in Egypt. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, this is definitely good. Definitely a good. Like, oh, I'm gonna make you an Egyptian. Look, yeah. He said he feels bad. But he's going back for seconds. <laughs> so, if he was lying to me all the way up to this time, this has to be the official sign that he's not lying to me because he wouldn't actively eat seconds if he didn't like it. So there you have it. It's fresh in my mind and it's fresh in my belly. Oh my God, am I so fucking full. It was so good, such an interesting taste to it. Super garlicky, you know, a big note of coriander. And it was honestly delicious. And he was so stoked on it. And I honestly think my favorite part about it was he was just perplexed on how it tasted so good. Cause he's like, what? And you hear him say that, it's like normally the first time is a complete failure, but this was not. And the more he ate it, he was just like, okay, so like how many videos did you watch online? You know, it's just like how many recipes did you read? You know, and he was just so curious about what I did to make this it's so good my first time. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I just saw a recipe. I read it once and I uh, pitter patter. I got at her easy enough. I just, I, I would consider myself a decently good cook. So I kind of put a few things together. I figured out, you know, mentally what I was making, followed the recipe and boom, there we go. Now my review on making this was, it was super fun, super easy. I would highly recommend it. If you ever have 
an Egyptian friend coming over, absolutely, you should make them this dish. It was so easy, you know, it was, it was interesting to make, it was something new, it's a good thing to add to that cooking repertoire. And I just think it was an all around favorite. It goes well with rice, that's kind of what it mainly goes with. You can do it with pita, uh, and just it's so tasty. The weirdest part for me though, and the part that I struggled the most has honestly nothing to do with actually cooking the dish itself. It was the fact that I had my GoPro going, I had this camera going, I'm like tiptoeing around everything, trying to still cook the normal dish that I'm cooking. So that part was rather intriguing to try and cook and actually talk and then also record and then not bump over all my stuff. Because if you could see, that kitchen is teeny tiny, at least the actual cooking spot of it. So subscribe and follow along on this journey. Leave a comment if you think you wanna see me try cooking some other meal. Watch another video on the channel, how I'm doing all this by my travel budget hack. Now I'm gonna go stand up and, you know, digest, cause I am so full. Have I longboarded my way into your heart yet?